Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our F2B Interactions series. Uh, last episode, we crafted up a couple more LV machines. Uh, in particular, I got a fluid extractor and a fluid solidifier to make glass much easier. And yeah, just uh, spent some time crafting up a whole lot of glass. And we'll see why in a second. Um, but thankfully, being able to time in a bottle, a high pressure coal boiler, uh, it is actually pretty easy to get steam when we are running uh, things. So I think I've used about two, two hours of the time in the bottle, or I think I was up to about nine hours. So I think, yeah, about two hours we use speeding stuff up. Uh, also, you may notice I finally have armor i went ahead and got this leather quest which uh, we needed eight leather for so we used a trap which by the way cannot be automated in the slightest i thought we would be able to use item conduits to pull the stuff out but apparently that is not a thing i didn't know that um, but you can speed them up so we got the eight leather that we needed i crafted up the leather tunic and then if you craft up a iron chest piece or a chest plate you do get uh iron helmet iron leggings and iron boots um we did end up finding iron chest plate in the village so i didn't actually have to craft that part of it up but uh yeah now we have a full iron armor thankfully not the best but uh hey it's better than running around with nothing on uh, i actually don't know what's like the i don't know what the progression for uh i don't know what the progression for armor is like i don't know like after iron i don't know what i should be working for there's a whole bunch of cool looking stuff uh like dragon scale stuff and yeah i just have no idea what are these things i have no idea small memory just never heard of that before um, man, I uh, <laughs> remember how bad that recipe was in Project Zone 3. Uh, like, Draconic is usually like, the best of the pack, and that is Wyvern, and then Living Chest Plate. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't seem overly difficult to get. Obviously, this is not the easiest, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We will, I guess we'll kind of see Dark Matter is usually pretty cool. Gem Plus Plate from uh, Project E. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. There's always like Thaumium if we want to go that route. Uh, that does kind of seem like that's more early game. Thaumium. Because it's iron screws. A lot of them have like... Well, not that one, but yeah, like tungsten steel and stuff, that's much later. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. I don't know if there is a... The only... There's this armor down there, but this is... Other than that, this is like the only... Only armor thing that I am seeing. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll take a look at that. So, you might be wondering, why the heck did I need a whole lot of glass? And uh, you may also notice there are some sponges that I have crafted up. I use the strainer to get a whole bunch of rotten flesh. And I used time in the bottle on that as well. And I actually didn't know that... Remember where I put it. I keep losing everything. There is a... I was looking up for bait, and I was like, oh, I can't do that yet. The creative worm. Um, it's HV. It's not that far, but it's not even that difficult either. Well, that's a bit more complicated. But yeah, that's actually not that difficult. But there is a garden trowel, and this is very easy to craft up. And I basically just went up to the top and vein mined a whole bunch of dirt and got a stack of worms really quickly. And... Uh, yeah, I use those to 
Got the Rotten Flesh and sped up with the Time and Bottle. It actually went pretty quick. Um, yeah, so we went ahead and got sponges. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look why we needed sponges and a glass. I kind of teased this a little while ago, but we finally managed to uh, get this done. Now, as I was tunneling, I realized there's a there is a ravine right in the middle. So I basically just built a bridge across and glass easy enough. Um, they cannot see us, which is seems to be working okay. I don't know if this is going to be an issue later on with zombies. I don't think they can break glass or stone, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, this is what I have decided to do for a base in this series. And we're going to do an auto water base uh, with glass domes. Basically, I'm planning on having a bunch of interconnected kind of domes. This is pretty small. The next one I want to do is much, much bigger. But uh, at this point in the pack, trying to <laughs> place blocks underwater and uh, not die from drowning and all sorts and stuff from the mobs. It wasn't the easiest, so I kind of just did a bit of a smaller one. Uh, but we used a building guide, basically. So if you don't know how this works, basically, you can place this building block on. Oh, boy. Okay. There we go. And there's different shapes. Uh, there we go. So. That is basically what I used. You change the what block it is like that. You can rotate it if you need to rotate it. And you can increase the size. And uh, you can see how many blocks that we're going to need. Uh, sphere is not the one that we used. Uh, not cylinder. Where is it? Ah, I was like, we just, did we just crash the thing? Yeah. Dome mode, that's what it was. Um, well, that, I feel like that's not. No, it was sphere. We just didn't go all the way down. That's right. <laughs> Bad. Uh, But there we go. So yeah, sphere. Um, this is the whole, the whole thing. It goes all the way around. Um, but we only did half of it. I don't know why the dome. I don't know why the dome only does half. I, is that? Did I just no? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's exactly the same. But. Uh, Yeah, that just, I, I wanted the whole thing so I could see. So, yeah, we did. Uh... Steer. All right. But anyway, that is pretty cool. There is an enhanced one that I believe you can right click it with a white glass and it'll place it for you, I believe. Um, but. Yeah, I can't build that yet. I didn't have ender pearls. Um, but it's actually relatively easy. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's 100% how it works. Um, unfortunately, though, if uh, I have a feeling that since we're using sphere mode, that it's going to be placing the blocks, even though, like, it may replace the things underground. And I don't really want it to do that. But uh, anyway, that is how we got that. It was a pain. <laughs> it took a lot of work. But uh, yeah, uh, the cool thing about sponges, if you place a sponge, it basically deletes all the water around it. So as we can see, uh, that makes it much, much easier. And uh, I probably could have used about 15 more, but I got tired of waiting 
or <laughs> rotten flesh. I just kind of did it piece by piece and uh, yeah. And basically just had a clear spot and when I would run low on water, just kind of dip below it really quick. And ever I saw guardians, I would just run away. <laughs> so anyway, there is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be our new base. And like I said, this is a pretty small one. I think the next one's like the main one, which will probably be like over here. I gotta be careful. There is a few, as we can see, a few kind of weird patches. These are oil patches. So we got to kind of stay away from them, unfortunately, but uh, maybe we'll go like over here and do like a massive dome. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I don't know. There's something really fun about like having an underwater dome. And uh, the one kind of minor issue at the moment is that since we're underwater, I'm pretty sure i haven't tested it but i'm pretty sure the solar boiler that we use to passively generate steam is not gonna work but uh we're working towards some um, infinite energy and uh hopefully that won't matter just right now we're kind of using it to help out but uh it's not really not the end of the world um since Cold Coke is way, way easier to get <laughs> than, I mean, I just have to go chop down some trees and uh, we got some cold Coke and we get tons of steam from cold Coke. I don't have it running anymore, um, but we will get it going. And also it's kind of fun. If we take a look at this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, also planted some sugar cane, you may notice. See why I'm over here. Let me grab some more of these experience things. I've just been repairing the. Yeah. You can actually see the base down there. <laughs> so that's actually pretty cool at night. All right. So I think. Let me think. How do we want to do this? Um, I was kind of debating should we move that teleporter? may move that teleporter. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I want the, I may use, I may move this one so we can jump back and forth between and move everything. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Man, these things are so annoying. I know it's to stop you from like jumping back and forth immediately after teleporting, but when I accidentally go through it, man, that is annoying. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Wait, <laughs> I'm just going to have to swim over. That's always terrifying. Maybe I should, maybe I should grab a boat. Ah, let's just go swim. Not the end of the world. We just stay up, up top. We should be okay. Those green dots are, uh, no, those are squid. I think it's the yellow dots. Yeah, the yellow dots are guardians. All right, uh, let me place this teleport down. I'm gonna get some stuff moved over and we'll get our kind of setup much better, much more organized. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. This might take me a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, we'll be back. Okay, we are back and I've gone ahead and moved the couple multis and all the machines. I've left most of this stuff up here um, because we don't have a whole lot of room yet until I get a, a bigger dome crafted up. But that is, yeah, it's gonna take me <laughs> a bit of time um, but man, is it, it looks really cool when the sun's up, because you can actually see like the uh, the kelp and stuff growing. It's pretty cool. The the oil thing looks a bit kind of weird, but yeah. Other than that, I think this is gonna be super fun. 
uh, when we get more of these built up and bigger. But as we can see, there is the Coke oven. Uh, eventually, I think we'll have three of these. I don't know, actually. If we need, I don't, I was not sure if we have enough, do we have enough heights? I think we do. Um, since we're gonna share, we're gonna do one, two, one, two, ah, uh, we're like one, this one piece of glass is actually in the way if we have three stacked on each other because we're going to share the bottom row. Yeah. So I think, unfortunately, I may have to adjust this one over, which is not the end of the world, but uh, yeah. This is not, probably not going to be permanent. I just wanted to get them down here and kind of set up. This is my setup. I did find out that the steam solar boilers actually do work. And so that is, that was a bit of a surprise that it actually works and it works with a fluid hook on top of the boiler and it does output steam to the top. So that, all of that was kind of surprising to me. I figured you couldn't output steam to the top because the solar panels on that, but apparently that does work. I have the aqueous accumulator underneath, and then there is that. I don't have anything really running at the moment, but uh, yeah, so this is this. There's my five steam machines. There is our one turbine that we have, and there is the battery buffer. And then I've just kind of set up the machines just to get them down here so we can start using them. Now, I did notice, um, I was, you may see I have Dolly, and I was like, oh, there is a Dolly. You can pick up blocks that have an inventory. That is going to be awesome. Not very difficult to make at all. And then I noticed there's actually a quest for it. And this quest actually gives a robot arm as well. So we're going to go ahead and craft that up. It's super easy. Just some bronze. And uh, these are actually pretty cool. Uh, bronze crates, I believe they hold on to their, no, that didn't hold on to their, I thought they held on to their inventory. I could have sworn that was the thing. Apparently not. I don't know what I was thinking of. All right. Well, apparently those don't hold on to the thing, but we get a dolly. Uh, it does say do not attempt to dolly crates, so I'm assuming that will be a crash. The robot arm, though, that is pretty cool. But, uh, all right, let's take a look at this dolly. I don't think I've ever used this Ender Utilities one. All right. Doesn't give us slowness or anything. All right, well, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, it's like super easy. This is too easy. This is OP. Please nerf. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Um, this has no durability or anything. Yeah, I don't, it's a bit surprising, actually. I guess we'll put that there. Yeah, that's a good place for that, right? Oh, now that's all out of order. Oh, well. <laughs> um, this is like my ingots and stuff. Yeah, because this is where all my stuff gets output from that. But, yeah, I guess... I'm gonna leave that because eventually, hopefully sooner than later, we'll replace that. Yeah, I'll probably leave that for the time being. Tinker stuff, don't need any of this. I could probably break that down. Uh, don't really want to bring this. Um, the main thing I use it for is chests. It's just so much cheaper. It's just. Yeah, it gets just eight planks. I'm like, look at that recipe. The assembler, once we get that, we can do it in the assembler. But yeah, there's quite a few things that we have to craft in this. Wait a second. Wasn't I looking for that rice dough? 
like forever ago. Wait a second. What was that? I could have sworn I was trying to turn that rice into, or maybe I'm getting my mod packs confused. I may be getting Enigmatica too. I remember trying to get slime balls from rice and it wasn't converting. Maybe, I guess, yeah. No, I'm getting my, I think I'm getting myself confused here. But I really feel like I should, should really get this organized before I just bring everything over. I think I'm going to do that. Because these things are so crazy. Um, can we... Alright, cool. That seems to work with that as well. I don't know where I want any of this placed or anything. I think... I think I'm going to go this way when I build out more. Yeah, I think that will be the way. I may even eventually have one going this way, too. Uh, like I said, this is just a starting point for our base. So, all right, uh, let me, I guess, let me get more of this done. And we will, I have no idea what I want to, we're just basically, ah, I know, yeah. I'm like, we're just working LV, but one of the things I thought would be pretty cool to work towards is quadrupling our ores. Now, if we get um, yeah, if we get liquid starlight, we can quadruple our ores, I believe. So we got our iron ore, liquid starlight, you mix it, and then you get dense iron ore, and then dense iron ore. Oh, maybe... Alright, so he wants it to... I don't know the whole thing here. I thought this pulverized down, but... All right, it does, yeah. All right, so you smelt... You smelt this to get two of these to get four of those. So that, yeah, quadruples instead of doubles. I thought that would be... Oh, there it is, yeah. And then there's other... You add more to it. Plasma Arc Furnace with Blazing Pyrothium, and then you get an Iron Crystal, and then an Iron Crystal you get eight, so on and so forth. And I believe there is, isn't there like a 64 times? thought I remember reading you can actually 64 it, but maybe I'm wrong. Add some UU matter and you get even more. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let me move some more of the chest. I'm going to leave all this and probably leave that. Just We just don't have enough room at the moment, I think. We'll come back. All right, we are back, and uh, I wanted to try this really quick. Hopefully it's not too late, but uh, I want to see if... Does it work on... Yes, it does have that. No! I don't want it to... I'm worried there's, like, mobs out there. Right, I don't know if there... That dropped... I don't know if that dropped a well. I'm like, there is something out there. So I don't want to run out there. I don't think that dropped. Alright, I think it might be safe. I'm just going to run out there. Ah! Oh my goodness, this is, I feel like, not a good thing. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, those invisible, uh, invisible creeper things. That's no fun. All right. Uh, well, I tried to get it from that. It was a bit awkward the way I was doing that, but, uh, 
Oh well. Uh, I wanted to come over here so I could set the set my new spawn. Um, the, the ender shard, but I totally forgot to bring the thing over. <laughs> Whoops. Wonder if uh, do these crazy <laughs> slime things? Does that? We get the, uh, can I do the, the snares on those? I actually don't know. I'm gonna have to swim back though. I think they're probably despawned by now. Um, I also debated whether or not we could use the summoning thing. That might be another option. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah. Because we can spawn that zombie villager, and if I spawn it somewhere, I can kind of keep him locked in a thing. Wow, you guys are loud. Anything I need? I think we're actually good for the moment. All right, let me uh, let me swim back. I'm gonna set the thing up here. I don't, I don't know if we really need to. I should just have a normal garden with food and stuff, but I'm still haven't got that set up, so I still need the thing over here. All right. In case if you're wondering why I'm being so cautious, look at my mini map. How many mobs have spawned? That's what a two dozen mobs in that little area. We got zombies. They're wearing enchanted armor. We got creepers. Holy cow! Uh, yeah, so and then there's that like crazy darkness. So this is why I don't want to just like Walk around at night and attack mobs or this thing. That's that's kind of why I'm being super super careful um, But yeah, this one is That is not the one I wanted in there There we go. Still kind of getting the hang of these ender teleporters as well. All right, there we go, nice. Wait. Hey. Did I do it again? I, th I thought I... <laughs> I thought I switched them. Uh, no, that is not. That's that one up there. Pretty sure that is. That is not this one. Look at the. Like 70? We're at 30. Yeah, this, that's kind of weird. I feel like that that's a bug. Hmm. Anyway. Summoning altar. Let's, uh, I think we'll do that and then we'll do the, uh, we'll do a zombie villager, I think. Yeah. So we need Devil Dust, Raw Beef, Leather, and Bone Shard, and Bone, I think I have most, I might not have the Leather anymore. I don't remember where I, this was, yeah, that was that thing. Alright, uh, let me, let me grab this stuff, um, I'll probably do, that's right, that is that. That is in the magic. I'm trying to remember where I put everything. <laughs> beef we do have. There is the beef. Leather. It's probably in the thing. I swear that... Hmm. That's, That's a bit weird. I'll have to go to the other one again. And... Uh... Grab it. 
All right, we're back. Yeah, there's definitely something weird with the uh There's definitely something weird there. Cuz I I relinked it to the exact same dimensions on the thing and now it works. So um I think we may maybe we'll do This is that goes to uh That goes to a lead vein. That's where I got lead. Oh, I was going to do this as well. Crying obsidian in place of a bed. I'm going to do that. There we go. So we need the two, one, that, that, that. I need to throw that in a fire. And I think I need just... This one, that's up here. We'll do this in the... Probably, I was gonna so maybe like dig out a little hole, but I think we'll do it up in the uh, the old base, I think. I'm not looking forward to having to like go out and kill mobs. Because that skeleton, <laughs> that was... Uh, it wasn't even that dangerous and the skeleton was taking me out. Alright, so, like, yeah, I'm thinking, like, in here. We'll do this. And then, hopefully, this will work. We'll get our... Does it need a thing of the sky? No, I don't think so. Um, I do need this... So it's the this one is the catalyst, right? Yes, the bone is the catalyst. Everything else we need to put in. And then hit it from that. I'll remember it one day. All right, so there's that. Two of those. Two of those. One of those. And then shift right click with that. There we go. Hopefully this won't be an issue. All right, there we go. So, does this work with this? Actually, that is 149. That is 149. This is going to take me forever to kill this guy. All right, I need to get this guy down. Also, I probably should have full life while I'm doing this. Why did I just drink two of those at once? Seemed a bit silly. Alright, well this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, when's if he dies while he's on fire? Oh god, you see how fast that guy ran at me? That was scary. Yeah, I don't want him to like... Alright, well, let's see. Is this even going to work on him? Because these rudimentary snares, I don't know. Come on, I have a feeling this may not work. Oh, it did work. There we go. We got our demonic will. All right. We are in business here. We got our first demonic will. It's actually a decent amount. Um, that was scary. I'll pretend like I know how to use a shield. But, uh, yeah. All right. So we got our demonic will. That is really cool. That'll let us get a resident wand. We will be able to progress a bit. Um, we moved our base. And uh, I think we are set for... Uh, Moving on here. I'm going to continue crafting up. I think I'll just continue crafting up uh, some machines. I don't know how much we need to really talk about the different machines I'm going to craft up. Um, I probably won't spend like a whole episode talking about them, but yeah, 
we'll just keep adding more machines as I need them. I, I really want a packager, to be honest. But, oh, we did get a robot arm from that quest. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, or I should probably use that for assembler. What am I talking about? Anyway, we'll come back next episode. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll progress a bit more. And hopefully everyone likes my base. And hopefully it will look pretty cool moving forward. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.